got wheel bearings in a Harley wheel. See that moving up and down on that gap there, look. Oh yeah. See, that's your wheel bearings. But they're not like a normal, what you'd call a motorcycle wheel bearing, which is a, normally a ball bearing with cups. Okay. You screw it together, adjust it so you get no play. These haven't got that. There's shims in here, and they're actual needle rollers that run that way. So you have to get oversized needle rollers. Okay. Which I think we said before, I've I've measured and guessed, but without having hundreds of each one yeah. to try. You, you, so hopefully I've ordered enough to do it. So we'll have a look and see. You've got to take the hub off, get to the other side. Obviously do those up a lot tighter than that, but I've had it all apart before to try and measure it, you know. our hub off out the way and you can get to this side bearing then you see yeah. which isn't that bad it hasn't got that much play in it but we'll take it all apart and have a look you see right, so we take this what they call a star hub these so where's the play normally come in these wheel bearings then? i can show you when i get this off okay. right so that You've got that, which holds the end nose on. So that's just a locator to stop that spinning, so it sits on the bearings there, yeah? Okay. Then you've got shim washers, we have got a hub section first. Then that. And then you've got shim washers in there. Yeah. With an oil seal in there. We won't endeavour to get out, but we'll soak that in some petrol to soften it back up. So basically, that shims and pushes those bearings, that face there, to take any play out that way. But the issue is that, you see? Oh, okay, yeah. So you've got oversized rollers to go in there to try and take that slack up. All we've got to do is get it all apart, clean it all up, get all the grease out of it. And then you know exactly what you're dealing with, you know? So you've got to take this side out. That's that. That's your centre. See, these can wear as well where your needle rollers go. That's your other oil seal. We can get this bearing out then. And that's one cage, you see. And what we do your base washer so that's all the bearings out yeah okay that has a base washer as well but they're different sizes so you, the oil seals are different sizes so you can't put them in the wrong way round so basically we want to clean up all of this not worried about the outsides at the moment not worried about that the two oil seals can go in to have a soak Cleaned later. Let's get rid of all of those out of there. I want to keep all of those so we know that they're the small size and they're the ones that came out. We know they're too small, yeah? How many different sizes of needle bearings are there? Loads and loads and loads. Yeah. Plus one thou up to like there's just um, lots of them. Yeah. The guys who do these all day long, they'll have a rack like that, plus one to plus whatever. Yeah. Unless you've got them all, all you can do really is have a measure and a and a guess up really. Okay. See, because these faces can wear as well. So it's a combination of everything. So there's no look good looking in a, like a, a parts manual and saying, well, this is the size, because no. with that wear, then... I'm sure if you knew what you were doing, you could put a micrometer on everything and work it out. But I don't know how to do that. Yeah. So. I would imagine all these are standard, but I don't want to muddle them up at the moment. That's the B 
big side then. It's got a little tub and a big tub. Clever, isn't it? No. Right, so we know that's our smaller one of the two that came out the star washer side. So what we do at the moment, we get our oversized bearings and you just put miss every one and then you've got to, you don't have to fanny around putting them all in, you know. Right, so we've got plus fours, plus sixes and plus eights. So let's go over the fours first of all, see if that Makes any difference. Right, so this isn't the way it goes together, but all you're doing at the moment is trying it, yeah? Okay. We're still miles too loose. See, I think we can gladly give up on the fours and go straight to eights with that. By the looks of it, see, eight might not be big enough, but if I can get a lot more play out of it than it had in it, then it's. I mean, they, they won't inherently the design of it. They they can't break, but you just want to get all the slack out that you can, you know. Yeah. But feeling that, I don't think eights are going to be big enough. But when it's all together, it does go slightly different. So. that made a difference. Right, there's very minimal play in there compared to what it was. That's the biggest we got, so we've got to go with them. Are you pleased with it though? It could be tighter, but it's, it's a thousand times better than it was, so. Yeah. Right, now we'll check the other side which wasn't as loose by any way or form so let's try us fours in there first of all so if you're too tight on the fours then you're gonna have to go back to the standard you know probably get away with sixes in there so and also the more you get out of that side the more it tightens up the other side as yeah, well okay. but like I say most big wheel bearings are roll up ball bearings and you'd have a bar going through the middle and you tighten up what they call a cone and then as you tighten both sides and then you get no play in it at all that's that's your standard sort of motorbike wheel bearing but these are weird front wheel's got them on them, but not the back wheel. And if you're running a WLC, it's got the same front hub as this. So WLC has the same front hub, because it's interchangeable wheel, okay. as yeah. opposed to WLA. You've got basically three faces that can wear. You've got that face, that face, and the bearing face. Yeah. So everything can just wear out. So it's not like saying, oh, the last one we did was this size needles. No, nah, it doesn't work, no. Nah. We can do every other one. Yeah, just for trying it out. Okay. And then we'll whack them all in. Yeah, that's nice with the plus sixes, so we'll go with building it that way round, yeah? Okay. So let's, let's get greasy. Just a bit then. Yeah, you want to get loads in there. It all squishes out, but the more you get in there, the better, you know? Why do you put so much grease in? I mean, what's the, the hub should be fully packed with it, basically. Okay. So you just want to make sure that the bearings, that those, 
because once they're in there, I mean they will suck in grease, but basically you want to get as much in there as you possibly can. Right, so let me get the book and remember which way round all the bearings go. It would help. Right, goes in there. There's no play in that at all now, so... Right. He's nicely in there. Got our oil seal. Nice coating. See how that's expanded now? Mm. Where it's been sitting in the petrol? Yeah. That gives you a nice... Snug fit. Yeah. Make sure that that's in its groove all the way around, which it is. Okay. Now that can't fall out, so we can put our bearing in this side, yeah? Let me put that in. Minimal play there, which is ideal. Now let's clean all this lot up. Right, so that can only hit the hub, and you've got that much play. That so that tab, what the washer that went in there is too small. You'll never ever get rid of that, you can't, it's impossible, yeah? Okay. So you need it there, and then shim that up. So, the base washer that's underneath the large bearing is wrong. Which is a pain in the ass, but we've got to make one, we've got to make one. That washer that's in there should be underneath that. Okay. Should go there. Basically, that washer there goes underneath that on top of the oil seal to compress it more. And I would imagine it's probably the same thickness as your base on the other side. Because that really isn't doing a lot, you know what I mean? I would imagine it should be that thick. She's a poific. So why do you keep all these off cuts? Well, yeah. Right, we'll just cut a chunk off the end of that. Right, so first of all, we'll just face that off. All right, that'll do. Let's take it up the inside of that. Right, so one, the oil seal next, and it should be that washer we had on the bottom, which it isn't, and it should be that. It's going to be tight work getting that set up clipping, but. Okay, so next thing, let's put the hub back on, put it all back in the bike and see what happens. Got 
minimum. I mean, it's got a little tiny bit in it, but nothing like it was. Good job. Good job, job. Next week on the workshop. That? Yeah. That's your cup that goes over with a gasket on top. Yeah. That's your cylinder head. The bit in the middle is the valve guide. Obviously that isn't in the middle anymore, it's snapped off. Don't quite know how you'd snap one off, but...